Hi again everybody. So today I just wanted to do a quick experiment with um, one of the faux eco dyed papers that I did a few days ago. Um, this one I tried some different colors. I've got turquoise and two shades of green like a lighter shade and a darker shade just in little spots here. To me this is too bright um, so I don't really care about this one. So what I'm going to do is do something else with it. So um, I've got different inks here. Again, I've got this gold acrylic ink, the Dollar Rowney, Rowney, I don't know what you call it, Dollar Rowney ink. And this is um, gold and then I've got a black acrylic ink and I've shaken these up and then I've also got the Dr. P.H. Martin's waterproof India ink and also I have a goose feather and uh, my husband bought me a pack of these so that I could do some some crafts with them so alright so the first thing I'm gonna do just like I did with the making this paper is I'm gonna just wet it down to spray it down with some water so that we can get the acrylic ink to flow and I'm using the dollar roundy black and I'm hoping that you can see through this a little bit like it'll be a little translucent so you can see some of the colors underneath but I don't know if that's working it doesn't look translucent at all, but that's fine. Um, let me try. Well, let me spread it out. So I've got my brush, I'm dipping it in some water, and I'm going to just help it out. Just spread it out random. I don't want to cover this fully. maybe well I don't think I'm gonna need this this ink here so I'm gonna add just a drop of this gold Let's see how that oh that's cool that is super cool I don't know if you guys can see that there's because of the lighting but there's a lot of shimmer there you can see that spreading out. Maybe I'll do another drop of this gold because I like it so much. So it looks like the, you could see the mica particles glimmering there. So now I just want to take my feather and I'm going to, this looks like the front and then this is the back of the feather. I'm going to place the it face down like this and just in the center carefully place that and then I'm just going to take another sheet this is just a sheet of cardstock and I'm going to just place that on the top to flatten that out and then we will do a heavy book And I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours and we will see what it looks like. I I think it's going to turn out good. So hopefully it does. And we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about, actually about 15 minutes and I just took a peek. And it's not completely dry, but it's pretty, I think it's ready. So I'm going to just lift this up and see what we get. Yeah, I mean, it's damp, but it is not, not wet. Because I don't want my feather to, hmm, hmm, no. That did not turn out like I thought. So, let's, hmm. Not sure what to do with this. I'll see. 
wonder if let's try something else so I'm gonna wet it again just in this area and I'm going to add the gold maybe the black just is not since it's not translucent it's just not gonna work so we're just gonna do some gold here and I'm gonna try it again and even if this doesn't turn out I we can just keep layering over so let me try it again and I'll be back again in about I'll check it again in about 15 minutes or so okay so it's been a few minutes and I kind of have a feeling this still isn't going to work so I am prepared to deal with that if it didn't so let's take a look at what we have now I like this side I mean there's no imprint of a feather but I do like the colors here like a way sheet that I could use for something else and here we have the feather is looking kind of neat there if I lift it up it actually hmm it does not have a lot of the imprint on it like I figured that it wouldn't so I'm just going to let me flatten this out again we're going to figure this out guys So I'm thinking that the acrylic inks just are too thin and the feather is soaking it up. All right, so this is still kind of wet, but that's okay. I have a homemade jelly plate here. It's about, I don't know, three by three by five, maybe. Um, there are recipes out there. Different YouTubers have made their own jelly jelly plates I have you know the gel press plates but I like this because I can kind of make a batch and then cut them into the size that I want I've had this for months so probably a year actually and it's just still awesome and I haven't used this one yet I just cut this out and I think what I want to do is add some light colors around here um, actually I think I want the white instead of mm, this is one of my favorite colors here in the Liquitex basics this is the red oxide maybe I'll try it first and then layer it with some white so we'll, we'll just see so I'm just gonna put a little bit here I don't want it like fully covered I just I just want like a translucency here so you can see you can still see through this plate and I'm just gonna use it as a stamp and just stamp around oh, I hope this feather doesn't get stuck stamping around the feather yeah the little the little hairs are getting stuck. It's okay. Just kind of roll over this. Maybe it'll work better if I just use the brayer by itself. I think we're creating a hot mess here. Let's see. But it doesn't hurt to experiment. So I think I would just use the brayer. I've got too many colors going on. Now, let's 
Let's go ahead and just add the white in. Now let me let me stamp. Let's see if I can stamp this color on here. It's looking rusty. Hmm. Now I think I'll go ahead and add the white. That's looking cool. Looking like uh, old paper. I'm liking that. And let me add some more to the bottom, in the middle. When in doubt, use white, right? <laughs> All right. Hopefully this works because there's the black and all the other dark colors underneath it now, underneath the feather. So, let's see if I can, I don't think that this is going to be very defined here, these little soft downy, the downy parts of the feather, maybe, if I plaster it on there. Some more white. I'm liking this thin layer of white where it's showing all of those colors underneath. Nope. Still, it's picking up some of the, what is this called again? This red oxide, it's my brayer's picking up some more of that. I'm gonna need more white, it looks like. So let's do I just picked up a chunk of dried paint there off of that, um, off of this cap. Get that out of there. can barely see that. I don't think you can even tell it's a feather. Nonetheless, it's a neat piece of paper. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the feather. The feather is all messed up. <laughs> all right. So I have more. Let's see. I do have more feathers. So I'm going to take another one, and what if 
Let's see, what if... Let's do this. Let's move this aside. What if I just add some ink to this? Yeah, feathers are water resistant, aren't they? So. Oh no! gold. That gold is very translucent, so let's try this. Get another piece of cardstock maybe find another piece of something to use here and this That is still not looking like a feather to me. Not even close. Hmm. Okay. Got this print here. I still like this page for something else. I can do something else with it. Let me, I'm just gonna like doctor it up. Add some gold, cause I like that gold so much. And I'm not gonna smash that gold down. I'm just going to leave it and let it do its thing and put it aside. And let's just try, let's get rid of these acrylic inks and let's do bright aqua green. Whoops, that's too much. This is really messing the feather up big time. With the <laughs> I'm just experimenting, so let's get the whatever that's called, that quill. And place that on there. And I'm going to use this sheet again. And that's just a piece of like old ledger paper. I think this is ledger paper. It's just got grid lines on it. All right. It's kind of neat. Maybe I can do it again. 
right there. just going to be some collage paper, I think. We waste nothing. So there is that. I'll just put it aside. Let's come back to this one. And Hmm. Let's get another piece of that. Let's see. Let's. All right. Let's try this. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's see. So that's pretty neat. I like that with the exception of this right here, so let me see if I can do something with that. And then we kind of got some splashed over here, which that's okay. Um, what else can we do with this? I think I want to add some more of that gold again. over top of this. Okay. So once this dries, we'll see how it looks. Because you can't... I don't know. Can't really tell that's a feather, but... It looks really neat though. So I think we can make it a feather though. Once this dries, I can uh, do something else with it. So I can take like my white gel pen and go around. And I think that's what I'm going to do once this dries. And while I've still got. Let's set this aside here. Since I still have quite a bit of paint on this feather here, might as well just try to put an imprint on here. Just keep going with it. Ooh, I like that. So, anyhow, um, even if it doesn't turn out the first time, you can continue and layer over top because, you know, acrylic is, I mean, it's forgivable. And that's kind of a neat feather. And I like that, so I could do something with that too in a journal or something. And these feathers, I think, will be trash. <laughs> Especially this. <laughs> Look at it. Poor guy. That those colors are pretty cool. So um I'm gonna let that this one dry 
let the gold dry on here and then I'm gonna come back and doctor it up some okay so so far I have three prints that I really like this is still drying there's a lot of thick paint on this so I'm going to come back with a part two to show you how I finish these so this one was one of the papers that I just used to like just sock up soak up some of the the paint and then I just took my brayer added some more on I've got some copper color in here I also dripped in just some of this gold little drops here and then while it was still wet took a piece of this punchinella over top set it over top of that and took another piece of cardstock placed it over top to soak up the extra moisture and I now have this piece that I can use on something else which is pretty cool so now you can see like all of these the punchinella design there and I'm going to use a feather on this as well but um, I will do that in part two I don't know if you could see that well but I think all of these look really cool especially this one but this one I have special plans for all of them actually so I'm excited I hope you join me for part two hopefully I'll have that up um, not too long after this one um, and thank you guys for watching if you like this give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more crafting and my desk is such a mess but I'm telling you this is so much fun so if you are not making a mess you're probably not having fun and this is so cool I'm really liking how these turned out even though the feathers are like unusable now but I have more so thank you guys again for watching and I'll be back with the part two